Anybody can speak. Don't keep her in prison because you spoke something. No. Anybody can. You know, some young men are not going to greet me after this service. Oh, Papa just came and you're just spoiling things for us. <laughs> but it's true. When I proposed to my wife, I'd like to get married to you. I gave her a ring. You know that word? I said, labeled. This one is labeled. When I say faithfulness, once you are engaged to a partner, I beg you, even before you get engaged, as a sister, it's not every brother you see even in church that you'll be opening your teeth for. <laughs> Amen. When we're in campus, there's this song I never liked. Oh, somebody. Hey, I know a brother. There's one particular sister he'll be looking for. He said, oh, somebody. <laughs> Tell him that, you know. Hey, hey. We say, again, again, again. Oh, somebody. Somebody. He will look for that sister. So I kept wondering. Now, I didn't read any meanings to it. Until I saw the way we we'll grab her. My friend, sit down. Oh, somebody, somebody tell him that I love you. So I said, okay. This is a good opportunity. In the house of God, it happens. You know, the church, of, the church, the church passed through a poverty stage, a beginning stage, an entire stage of spirituality, entire stage of provision, but now it's entering a stage of iniquity. Are you following me? You know the poverty stage. Amen? Your hands. Amen? Your hands. You remember those days? Amen? Your hands. Your hands. Your hands. Oh, children of God. Oh, ch- uh-huh. You were in church that time. <laughs> those are the state of no instruments. Church, do you know church was spiritual then? That amen? Your hands. People were clapping. But the instrument came. Everybody just got relapsed. So please, it is very, very important that you understand faithfulness. Don't double date. Don't be in a relationship. You say you want to test two brothers to know which one is better. Say, I want to try this and try that. Every man wants a lady who has a level of respect for him. And every lady wants a brother who has a level of respect for her. You are smiling with every sister. You are embracing every sister. You are hugging every sister. Everybody has your phone number. Are you knighted? Anybody asks you, what's your number? Ahem. See that, you know? Five, five, five. Four, four. What's that? There are people you would say, I can't give you my number. Politely, I can't give you my number. But not if I say, well, I say nothing, I can't give you. Some people tell you, you, you will collect my number. And I see stupidity. I think this happens now on radio programs. Where people say they look for love. Love link also. They read out their numbers. You see the newspapers. People write numbers say looking for love. But just imagine a killer who is a vampire looking for blood to suck. Got your numbers on. Eh, no problem. Got your numbers like that. You're gone. That's a cheap way to die. You don't look for love when you are prepared. Love looks for you. You following that? Please, I'm not saying become hostile to brothers or sisters in church, but I'm saying have a level of respect. Know where to draw the line. There are some brothers that must not come to your house. There are some sisters that must not come to your house. Never. A sister in Lagos told me, he said, someone, someone came to her house. She was in the person's cell unit, as whatever they call it. And the person kept coming to her house. Hey, brother. And she lives alone. I said, don't try that nonsense. It's risky. It's risky. You're living alone. It's risky. Don't try that. She was not in Omega as of then. And later, she switched over to Omega Fire Ministries. And the people were still coming. She said, I'm in another church. Don't come to my house. They kept coming. One of them said, Jesus loves you. Oh, hallelujah. And almost raped her in the room. She screamed. 
neighbors came. And I said to her, I wouldn't know how to come into this issue. Why? Because if you go to the station, they will ask you, what gave him permission to your house? Learn to draw the line. Are you following me? Learn to draw the line. Have some level of respect. Have some level of value for yourself. Hallelujah. There are young ladies today, the young man that's engaged to you has no money. You, you, you are engaged to be married to him, but you are dating another man that gives you money. And the guy is dying. He's aware. But because he doesn't want to lose you, he can't shout. He's advising you. This thing you are doing is not nice. He's a beggar. Okay, can you pay my fees? I'm even helping you, taking a load of responsibility of you. When you should be happy? The guy says, no problem. But such a person, God is not asleep. When God will visit him, when his stories will change, when everything will turn around, a man may have no money today, identify with him. A man may have no money, but make sure he has a good heart. The only person you should not identify with is a poor and a wicked boy. He's poor and he's unforgiving. Somebody like that, even if you struggle with him, when money comes, he will forget you. There are some brothers who are poor, stingy, stranded, and wicked. <laughs> stingy, their mind is like iron. Little issue, they will not let it go. They will let it go. Somebody just called you, and because you are busy, you didn't pick the call. They said, why didn't you pick that call here now? Why did you not pick the call now? He said, because I was... No! Call that person back. Can you imagine? That little thing that happened has become an issue. It's a wicked person. Such a person, I stand there to tell you, if you marry that person tomorrow, you are in trouble. You know how a person will treat you by how bad his heart is. You will kneel down and you... My wife can't kneel down for something and I'll see her kneel down. I'll let... No! In this ministry, my wife is the chairman of Julius Beggar. All the people that do evil, she's the one they go to me. She begs. She's the chairman of Julius Beggar. <laughs> She'll just go down and knees. I say, because you know I can't start. Say, What's the meaning of this now? No matter the level of anger. So you know what I do? I execute the thing before I see her. <laughs> when I want to really deal with somebody, I deal with the person first. So I start begging me. I say, hey, I've already done it. Sorry, yeah. Some people don't care. And it started in courtship. Things happen. I'll see her cry. Say, why are you crying? He said, no, 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 no. Sit down. It's okay. It's okay. Some people now, you will cry. I say, hey, you are crying. Cry blood. Cry blood. Crocodile tears. That's a, that's a heart that is not regenerated. The Holy Ghost has not worked in that kind of heart. If you say you love someone, you cannot stand certain things. You can't stand see a young man look you in the eyes. And the young man tells you, I'm believing God on how to pay my fees. Say me, I don't care. Money for my hair. When the Holy Ghost has worked in your heart, you are regenerated. Is somebody getting anything at all? Talk to me. Somebody gets you anything at all? Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I said hallelujah. Yes. There are four people. Let me keep that for a while. Continue on that aspect tomorrow. There are four people that may choose for you if you are not careful. There are four people that may choose for you. Number one, your people, your friends your parents be careful of this be careful so your friends do not choose who to marry be careful so that your family members do not choose for you who to marry Jesus 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 any relationship that your friends people listen people on the same level of life with you should not make choices for you People that should even dare it are people that seem farther than you see. On the same level, they can't make a good choice. Am I speaking here? The second group of people that we must not choose for you <laughs> is the enemy. That's Satan. Don't let Satan choose for you. How does Satan choose for people? 
by making them enter relationships without telling the authorities. There are people that will enter relationships and the church is not aware. They say they are smart. They are smart. I want to have a relationship with this person. Satan can make you choose, you know, wrongly or make a choice for you by putting you in a hurry. There are young men that want answer, they want it now. The Holy Ghost is not a spirit of pressure. They want it now. I want to marry you. Answer me. I'm in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I want to marry. Answer me now. The Holy Ghost does not work like that. Satan may allow you to make choices by bringing your former dates while you were not born again. And Satan would pick one part. Dr. Debayo, you know how the devil operates with such people? He will pick one particular good thing about the guy. The guy knows how to pet a woman. See if you are crying, the guy will say, sorry, so it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, see, I missed that petting. Or maybe he was good in bed. Satan would pick that part. See, they say somebody must not commit immorality before marriage. So I must have somebody that once I'm married, all the ones I did not do when I was in Christ, when I was just born again, I will do them. Or maybe the guy is a giver. Or maybe the guy does not raise his hand on the woman. Satan will pick one quality. The guy has never raised his hand on me one day. The guy does not shout. There are, there are people who don't like shouts or screams. Satan will pick a quality in that girl that you were dating before. Before you got born again, and Satan begins to elaborate it. And if you are not careful, your mind is going back. You start missing him. Do you know that's why some people are married and they still continue sin with their boyfriend of the past? True or false? What is Satan doing? Satan picks one quality about the guy and begins to elaborate it. Not knowing that if they like that quality, they can develop it in their present partner. Are you following me? Anybody, man or woman that you are with now, and there's something you like, you can develop it. You can develop it. You can. You can. Never allow the devil to take you backwards. No believer should think of going back to marry somebody you left in the past. Say, Papa, I don't understand. Men are not coming. Man is not coming. I've been in church. You say, pray. We pray. I fast. Everything. I sow seed. VG. Life in spirit. Fire night. Speak in tongues. Oh. I speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. I didn't know what to speak again. Till now. The man is not coming. Are you in church for husband? Are you in church for husband or your wife? You will never. Can I tell you a short story? There was a young sister who left this church. I'll tell you why she left. She came here believing God. She gave her life to Christ. She was a very funny person in the world. And she gave her life to Christ. I mean, pure, living a good life. She would ask me questions. She would ask me for books. I will give her. And then, she was praying. The man was not coming. But she was so desperate about, and it got me sick. And she was just about 29. She was, I never thought at 29 I will still be single. I thought I will be married. I thought, oh God, for the past seven years I have been following God. Sir, look, God knows I have never committed seven years. I have been faithful. I have been holy. Wait. She was so desperate. She left church here. She went to another church. That church, they don't um, wear your ring. It's not the bad life. They don't wear your ring. They don't wear it. Oh, they go and do crusade. They wear apron. They go and do crusade. Shut up. <laughs> they go and do crusade. They do everything. She was targeting husband. Husband. Then they did deliverance for her again. Spirit husband that she didn't have. Spirit husband she didn't have before. They did deliverance for her again. Did everything. You know me. I have a very funny character. I, you leave church. I'm not going to stop talking to you. I don't do that. Oh, you don't come to church anymore. I can't do it. I can't keep malice. You may not come to Omega. It means not. There are people that come from far. I don't ask them what church do you attend where you are. I don't do it. 
But because God does not reveal Omega Farm ministry to you, there's nothing I can do. But if God reveals it to you, nobody can change your mind. Nobody. So I don't talk. She will still talk to me. I'm going for our crusade. Now we're going to the east. I want to enter church bus. I said, God bless you. No anger. She continued. Hey! She said, sir, ha, this church is not what people see on television. No. There are things we have seen. Sir. Ah, no, 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 no. She left that one. She entered another one. Oh, keep saying it. Keep saying it. <laughs> she <left> that one. <laughs> she continued. She was selling the, the daily devotional. She was selling, selling. She was so serious. Oh, oh hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> one day, they came to the airport to see me. And I was praying for her. I said, Father Lord. I said, look about I said, hey. When did you start this one? <laughs> I laughed. I said, okay, continue. They'll go to one place. They'll do program. They made a pastor. Pastor. It was not pastor. It in a group. Everything was happy. I was like, ah. Husband, not come. <laughs> she now left that church. <laughs> she now entered. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down and die. She entered that one. <laughs> How many now? Fall down and die. Fall down and die. Ah! She come dry. Last time I saw her. I saw her. I said, three days dry. Her voice crack. She was talking to me. <laughs> she said, welcome, sir. I said, how are you? Fine. Her neck now became like Angolo. <laughs> I said, ah, this thing is serious, though. He said, daddy, God must do it, oh. God must do it. I said, man, he will do it for you. I say anywhere God is, I'm seeking God. I'm not following man, no. I'm changing from church to church. I know what I'm doing. I'm seeking God. Me too, I follow him. I say, Amen. She now left. Husband didn't come. She left this place 2006. And has been going around circle. Late last year, a man came. Because she was desperate. The man met her at the church gate. How are you doing? Fine. I just got back from the States and I was trying to look for my way around here. You know, I'm just like, so I'm trying to try to say, clear American accent. After a while, oh, you look beautiful, you look nice. How oh, can we have a of time to hang out? Speak everything. The guy spoke. The guy told her she's stranded. He has some assistance in need. She sold her phone cleared the little money she had in the account. He has nowhere to stay. She got a place for one week. The guy was staying there. Quoting Bible. Slept with her over and over again. What she has run from for seven years. Messed her up crazily. When the old thing, bah, it's like the spell. Not even clear. Not even clear the spell was one night she was with a guy in the house she started crying these were things that she was not doing before she called me and they're like what are you calling cut the line cut the line so i was hearing the voice he cut the line. i called back i kept calling 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 in the morning and i called i said what was what's going on she said, i don't know what i've entered i started speaking in tongues prayed with her she opened up now the guy has left her she's in debt they chased out of the house she was staying because she borrowed money from the landlord from the landlord's wife and everything they chased her from there. She now said, you see, God does not want me to settle down. God is against me. God hates me. I said, no. You missed it from the beginning. Your pursuit was marriage. So Satan capitalized on it. What you should pursue, pursue God. Marriage will come. Just get involved in the department. Be serving God. People will tell you, time is going, you're not married. Say, God is at work. When God... There is a man God will give you. He's been in his life in one year. We restore the 15 years you have wasted. He's been in your life in one year. There are some men that enter a lady's life and they cover the shame of the whole family. That even if your sister marries, your brother marries, any other person marries, that man alone is more than them 20 put together. I wish you understand what I'm talking about. 
You are seeking God. Just imagine Obama's wife, Michelle Obama. What husband with the sisters married that is up to Obama? In fact, the men will be happy to, say that, to hear them say they are Obama's in-law. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see someone special coming. 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 Someone special coming. Someone special coming. Amen. Someone special coming. Amen. Someone special coming. Amen. My time is up. Please take your seats for a while. Before I go further to pray with you, I know there are people who have questions to ask me. You want to ask. You want to ask questions. You have something bothering you. Maybe you have written them down or you want to ask them verbally. If you can write them down, you do that. But if you want to ask them verbally, you raise your hand up. I'll take out the first 15 people and I'll be on point. You are number one. Who is number two? You are number two. You are number three. Sister, you are number four. Who is number five? You are number five. Up. Number six. Who is number seven? Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Praise God. Pala Gabasa. Who is number one? All right. Please ask questions that matter to what we shared. Don't stand up now when you ask me baptism. Is it by water? Or by? Praise the Lord. Sir, I've seen a, a relationship where a man, a young man and a young Jesus. woman was into a relationship. And at the end of the day, the man do not really like to marry this woman because of some certain qualities that this lady possess. Mm. This man have done all he could to tell this lady to go. He has put it in calm voice, in anger and in awe. In four good times, he has broken up with this lady. Say, go. And this lady cry all night on phone. Come back, cry. Okay, the what first, is your question? The fourth breakup now, the lady is taking drugs that, that can kill her. What can you say about this relationship? Does the man have to go into this marriage he does not want or does he not have to allow this lady to die? That's my question. Praise the Lord. What's the question? Okay, the man does not want any more. And the lady wants to die. Is that it? If the man says not doing again, the lady says she will die. She's taking drugs. Leave her. Are you the father? Are you the mother? She asks people, if she die, people will bury her. No wise lady. That, that kind of lady already has a psychiatric case to be taking drugs because of a man. She has a plan. Don't stay in that kind of relationship. You are not God. You can't love her more than she loves herself. A lady who is prone to suicide, even if you marry her, little thing, she will kill herself. She, just, she, just, she, already, she already has a suicidal tendency. Little thing, she will kill herself. I've seen people who, because of a little quarrel, they jump from a story building. So please leave her. You are not her father. Sure. Sir, so yeah. I really appreciate your exposition on uh, the relationship talk. My question is uh, um, <laughs> oh, This is my question. Sir, so do you keep praying to God to provide you with a partner or you just you know, get yourself busy? doing the work of God and not talk about anything relationship at all. Get busy while praying. Okay. Still be praying about be praying but don't be tied down by the prayer of it. Get busy. Okay. While you are busy once the one mission for the Lord to direct you as a man direct okay. you as a lady tell God to expose you so that somebody right will find you. Okay. 
but be busy don't just sit down and make it prayer points every day that's your prayer now do you also make a list of the ladies that are coming your way or just one you hold on to answer? do you also make what that, do you make a list of ladies of ladies yes just like you explained that some make a list that i explained me where did i explain that that, that some bring to you and no, say, no, no. I said some people bring lists. Okay. I didn't say I approve. No, no, I didn't say you. I didn't say I approve people bringing lists. It's okay. not too... Well, if you are confused, yes. please, let's not just laugh over this thing. Some people need help. Please, it's very important. If you are confused... <laughs> it's very important. If you are confused about it, then you can list all of them before the Lord. And All right? Number three... Psalm 19. My question is this. When I was living in the world. I can see it on your face. You were there before. Yeah, go ahead. Before I became born again, I was dating a girl. Please hold on. You are what? Before I, be I gave my life to Christ, I'll be dating a girl. So when I was dating the girl, there are some wrong steps that she do take, of which I was trying. What do you mean wrong step? As in going out in a, a, with others. Okay, okay. So I was encouraging her that what she's doing is encouraging. Not, no, sorry, discouraging her that what she's doing is not good. Okay. That she should turn away from it, but she refused and. There was a day I got, we were out to understand it. So I got provoked and I, I have to raise my hand. Uh, she was the one that slapped me first before I retaliate. So. Okay, she slapped you. Yes. And you slapped her back. I answer. So. Slap yeah. her back, nonsense. <laughs> so we are now fighting. <laughs> but later, I now realized my mistake that what I did was wrong. So I now went to her and I told her that even when you I don't supposed to because why I'm asking you to leave what you are doing. So sir, now that I gave my life to Christ and I went to beg her for forgiveness, is this the, the uh, idea for us to come together? Yeah, if you can take more slaps, you can. Hey, wait, wait. Sir? Huh? Sir? Wait. wait. Did I not answer the question? Yes, sir. But, sir, the girl now has given her life to Christ. She has given her life to Christ? Yes, sir. She's born again? Sir. Okay, so you're asking both of you should still continue? Yes, sir. Watch her now that she's born again. Okay, sir. When somebody is born again, you don't see the person as somebody you were dating before. That is past. If you are knowing her now, know her for a new life, not for the former life. Next question, please. Hello, sir. Is it possible for a lady that is born again to have a strong feeling for the wrong person? Very possible. Because she allowed it. Feelings don't start at once. They grow. They what? When you see a person, you admire the person. If you, if you don't kill it there, it develops. Have you seen Michael Jackson? When he drops his clothes, people faint. They've been desiring it. Are you following me? They've been desiring it. Once you have a feeling, it's normal as humans for feelings to rise. But kill it. Once it's coming up, you kill it. If you don't kill it, your life continue. You can even you can even have feeling for Antichrist. If you are not careful. So once you know that this person is not in line with what you desire kill the feeling it will help you who is the next person jesus jesus praise the lord oh i am going through life experience so i need the help from it i there is a lady in my life she's a muslim So I, I really desire her, I like the way she behaves, but she's a Muslim and she's 
she has already been in a relationship before before i came in so each time i'm with her it's like i'm wait she was already in a relationship before you came yes and she's a muslim yes and are you okay i'm okay and she has, she's gave, she has already gave her life to christ now as at now we gather we do go to church together she's a muslim and she has given her life to uh, christ. she has given her life to christ now she's so, a born again muslim what do you mean she, she was a muslim yeah she was a muslim now she's a christian she's a christian right but she's she has somebody she has somebody before i came in now is she with the person yes they are together both now yes before you came in yes yes what are you doing there Let me ask you, come, come, come. Wait. You like her? You like her? Huh? Yes, sir. All right. How would you feel now? You, you like her, and both of you now start a relationship. Somebody now come and take her. How you feel? That is what I'm saying. I'm, still, I'm even telling her, hold on, answer me. Will you like it? I won't, I won't like it. That's what you are doing to that person now. So, leave her. Thank you, sir. Next, down there. Yes. Marvelous. Okay, see you. Then after that, a sister over there. Sir, you said in a relationship, uh, I want to ask this person. In a relationship, there are some guys, you, you do everything for them, as in, you please them, you do everything for them, but still, they don't still like you. They will still be going for another get they, as in they prefer. Shh. Shh. Let her talk. They prefer those girls that will just stretch their hands, stretch their leg. As in they, they prefer those girls than you that will, you respect then you watch. Because I'm seeing your face, you are talking them. from experience. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So what do you do about them? Is that the only question? Yes. Sir. All right, go sit down. Go and sit down. Ooh. Dr. Adebayo, come and answer that because when you repeat yourself, it is what? Tautology. From my teaching, I said something about that. What do you think? You have done everything to please them. You leave them. You what? You leave them. Is that it? To elaborate a little bit, sir. I think the sister needs help because um, if I'm to speak prophetically, what she is saying is that she's gone into sin with the guy. And that is wrong because you have done that. There's no way the guy will value you anymore. He's already gotten everything he wants from you, so he doesn't need you anymore. You cannot please a man. So stop saying you do everything to please a man. You cannot please. Even if you kill yourself, it must have a reason to go out. All right, next. Labada shata. So my question is on divorce. You 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 talked about divorce. Let's say, for instance, a lady just get got married to a man, and along the line, he had a child for the man. Do process of uh, childbearing. The child died, so, and the guy is not living in Nigeria. So, according to him, he said a prophet, a prophet told him that your wife is a snake, and he was she was the one who killed the child uh, to regain power from the Okoti, more power from the Okoti kingdom, and with some other insult. From there, the guy cut off the wedding, and now he's married abroad where he stays. What will not happen to the lady here? What will marry happen to who? The lady that was the snake. Now, now, let, let me correct something. Let me correct something. I did not tell you that once people are divorced, nobody marries them. I'm talking to you here. That I don't advise you to carry your young life and have a complicated future. Those who are divorced can marry those who are divorced. I have no problem with that. 
those who, are, who leave their husband can go and meet someone that left the wife. I have no problem with that. They should find themselves and sort themselves out. But you are too young to carry your life and become a stepmother to somebody at this age. Are you following me? There is always somebody for that girl. There is also, she also meets another man who somebody left. And both of them will meet and marry and continue in the confusion. But there are some younger people I will not allow. Because a sister will open her eyes that are single brothers who have a good beginning and go and marry a person who is divorced with grown-up kids. You start implicating your life. How do you, where do you start from? The man has like five kids. You please one. Try to please two. Try to please three. Try to... And you can never be like their mother. They will tell you you are not a mother. You can't be like a mother. So those are the problems involved. And I said, don't carry your young life and go and start something like that. But if you find yourself in that condition, the Lord is your strength. Amen. Am I good? Okay. I have three questions to no, ask. No, 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 no. Just, okay, make it two, make it two. Okay. The first one. According to the Bible, a divorcee cannot get married. Okay, what if... A woman gets married and the husband later died. Can that's she not, be married? That's not a divorcee, that's a widow. I know, I know. If a divorcee gets married again, a woman does and if she starts sleeping with a man, that means she's committing adultery. Okay, what's in a situation if the woman lost her husband? Can she remarry? Okay, that aside. Another one. What did she say? What did she say? Next question. Ask the next one. Okay. In a marriage where the man goes out every now and then, the man is a flex. And the woman, she knows that her husband is a flex. But despite that, she's still faithful, keeping to the rules and regulations of marriage. Then later, she divorced her husband after bearing some children for him. Is, she right? is it right for the woman to remarry again? But it was the husband that was at fault. Let's you have answered yourself. Everybody wants to talk. <laughs> Next question. Please, please, please. We have some other things. Let's ask. I thought there were some hands upstairs before. Or oh, have they answered your question? Or asked your question? They came down, okay. If you are upstairs, please you come down if you know you raised your hand before. Are those questions from this? Papa, can you convert an unbeliever? Like, I, I, mean, I want to use myself as an example. I love my, my boyfriend. And he's... And he loved me too. That's this. I love my boyfriend, and he loves me to death. He's an unbeliever. He loves you to what? To he death. In your mind. <laughs> Can I convert him? Huh? Can I convert him? Convert him to become a Christian. Yes. Yes. Now you are Jesus. <laughs> the last time I checked, I did. That was the face I saw in Jesus' almanac. You cannot convert a man. In fact, that relationship you are in now is a sin. Because I don't know what you are doing that kind of relationship. You don't need a relationship like that now. What is a boyfriend? I'm going to all of that tomorrow. What is boyfriend? Boyfriend is your friend that is a boy. Finish. Girlfriend is your friend that is a girl. It's different from relationship. When you say boyfriend, it means your male friend. You are not doing anything with the person. But you say, when you are sleeping with somebody, it's not your boyfriend, it's your fornication partner. Praise the Lord. So when you say, when you say boyfriend, is like, my male, this person is a friend, is male. It's a friend, she's female. But somebody you are sleeping with, make it clear, this person's sleeping partner. So that we understand. Because then I can explain more. 
Praise the Lord. So, sister, you cannot. It's only God that can change him. And that relationship now is not standing well. For, for instance, you are associating with a girl. She's a Christian, and you too, you are a Christian. And uh, due to that association, you now develop feelings of love for her. And you too, in her eyes, you can see the love inside her eyes too. And uh, inside your mind, inside your mind, you know that from now to 10 years, you are not ready to marry. You know that from? From now to 10 years, you are not ready to marry. Can you just free embrace that uh, feeling or you wait till when you are ready to marry? How old are you? 22. 22. Do you cook? Yes, sir. You cook food? Yes, sir. When do you start cooking? Is it what you are about to eat? Or you cook, then you eat the next year. What you are about to eat? So when do you make her know you love her? When you want to get married. When you are ready to get married. When you are ready for marriage. So you don't keep her waiting. All right? It's easy. The, the truth about ladies is this. Not ladies. I think everybody. Somebody that gets your attention all the time. There is every tendency for feelings to rise. So if you know you are sending a wrong signal to somebody, you are not thinking of marriage for this person, but this person is liking you, the first thing you do, severe the attention. If you are calling a lot before stop calling, are you following me? If you always send an SMS, that's the only way. For somebody you know, I don't want to marry this person, and this person wants marriage. Because if you continue like that, you put yourself in trouble. And you, you now go and propose somebody else, and she thinks, you know, let, women assume Good morning. Good morning. She's thinking things. It's the truth. Not that she's loose. That's the way God created them. So you have to be very, very sure of what you want. Praise the Lord. Sir, my question is that can AS and AS top marriage if the person is not believe on it? Shh. Please now, let him ask a question. Ask the question again, sir. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. So my question is that, can AS and AS married, and if the person in question did not believe on it in medical reports, sir? <laughs> he said, Dr. Deva, please hey, deliver this soul. You don't believe on it. Can you marry? The, you understand the question? Yes, sir. Can an AS marry another AS? That's, if they don't believe in the blood, they don't believe anything like that. You have already said something, sir, during the course of your teaching, that God presents a choice and you do the choosing. If I have to advise you, I will present the choice. By the time AS marries another AS, there is the possibility of giving back to a sickler. Now, hold on. There is the possibility. That doesn't make compulsory it will happen. But you can now make a choice, even though you have known. But there was a wedding I was invited to attend in Nigeria. They told me that the lady is an HIV positive and the man knows. And the man says, I want to go ahead. So you don't stop them. So now that you have known, it is now your choice. Either if to you, go ahead. If you have faith, yes, sir. she will be healed. Yes, sir. Very possible. That is we it. have seen that countless. Yes, sir. But don't say, where, where, where I would advise you is to say, you won't pray, you won't do all that, bone face. Faith is not bone face. Exactly. You are not praying, but if you believe God, it can change. Even if she's SS, both of you are SS, it can change. That's where faith comes in. So your question is, can God do it? And our answer is yes, God can do it. Blessed be Jesus. We have more questions. Hello, sir. Makata Balasaya. Jesus. Wave your hands, wave your hands, wave your hands. We're going to ask, we're going to hear more, but say thank you, Jesus. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Who is Selila? Selila. Selila. Is there somebody like that? Ah. Hallelujah. 
Please, we're going to ask some more questions, right? Can I do this? Stand up. There is a cut paper. There's a cut paper. A cut paper from court. Yes, sir. Where is it? It's in my bag here. It's your bag? Yes, sir. You brought it? Yes, sir. Divorce. Yes, sir. Divorce. Yes, sir. Please take two steps backwards. You were close to a man before. Hmm? Yes, sir. And the man is a military man. Yes, sir. A soldier. Yes, sir. Jesus. His first name is Peter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you loved him. Yes, sir. But it was his people that gave you to him. Yes, sir. His people said you should marry him. Yes, sir. But the problem is, before you got there, there was a woman in the house. Yes, sir. But they were not fully married like that. Mm, they were not married. Huh? Yes, sir. They were not married. But they she had a child. Married. Yes, sir. The child is with me. Let me finish talking. And you met this person. And both of you were there. Yes, sir. When you came to that house, the lady left. Yes, sir. But she left her child behind. Yes, Not sir. left. They, they didn't allow her to go with her child. Yes, sir. But she left. Yes, sir. But the child stayed. Yes, sir. While that lady was walking out, she got to the door, she turned, and she cursed you. You got pregnant, you lost the child. Yes, sir. You got pregnant, you lost the child. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Presently, the same man that you went through all this for, wants to divorce you. Yes, sir. That same man, because that lady said, since she came to labor and you now enter, mm. you will never enjoy marriage. Mm. Now, that man has left you. Mm. What I'm seeing on you now, there is a divorce paper. Yes, sir. Where is it? It's with me here. Go and bring it. I met this man in 2005. Let's take a few more questions. I feel an anointing here now. Some things are about to happen. Hello, sir. Yes, Can sir. Can the relationship be 50-50? Huh? Can the relationship be 50-50? Why not 60-60? What do you mean 50 50? Okay, sir. No? Go sit at the back. Somebody sit on the seat. You, brother, sit behind. Let somebody sit on your seat. Somebody who is not smiling does not sit in front. Let somebody else who is smiling sit in front of you. Sir, what I mean is this Can a man love his wife and the same? The same rate, a wife will love the man. Who, who, who will measure it? Wait, wait. Dr. Adebayo, how do they measure love? Sir, what he's trying to say is He this. said, can a man love his wife the same way the wife loves? The same scale, the same... It's not possible. But what he's trying to say is this, sir. Mm. Can love be reciprocal if I love somebody with all my no. heart? No. Is trying to say not reciprocal. We say love be reciprocal is you love someone, but the person responds and loves you back. The same but we say the same frequency. That no, same. it's not possible. One person must love each other more. And watch, let me not say this because my wife is here. When she goes, <laughs> say it. let me not say so that she doesn't feel mm. because it is better the man loves the woman more. Cover your ears. I didn't say that. 
but it's better the man loves the man more you know why in this secular watch this in this setting this african world we live in people believe this is a man's world they believe there are things men can do women cannot do so if the man loves the woman more that covers up and builds him from the temptation that the world is permitting him to enjoy Is that the paper? So when are you going to court? I will stay here tomorrow. When are you going to court? Court? Is it court paper? Yes, sir. We are going to pray. But already, you understand what's going on now? Somebody has already said something, and it's already at work. Because that lady, though they were not married, but the lady suffered with the man. Please stand here. Just kneel down. Talk to God. Let's take a few more questions. I thought I was seeing papers. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. My question goes like this. Somebody tomorrow wants... we'll be able to run through all of that. We'll come on time tomorrow, so we'll be able to handle that. I just feel we should pray and just hear what God is saying. Are you ready for that? All right. Let's take like two, three more. Then we can wipe off this. All right? Two, three more. Somebody wants to marry me and is having a son with another lady. And the lady is already married. So should I go ahead or... Come again, come again. Shh, wait, somebody. There's somebody Please that... wait, wait, wait. Say that again. There's someone that wants to marry me. He's having a son with another lady. And the lady's already married. The lady has married somebody else. Yes, sir. And the person wants to marry you. Yes, sir. If the lady is married, the man is free. But you have to confirm and be sure the lady is really married. Because some men lie. Some men lie. Let's take two more. Hello, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Papa, my question is, is kissing really allowed in a holy relationship? And Shut up. Shut up. Let's, let's hear a question. Go ahead. And the second one. The first one is, is kissing you have really asked allowed? It before. You have said it before. What's the, the second, second one? one is, when a guy has spent much for you, and there is a prophecy that says this guy is not your husband. Will you, should you go along with that relationship or you just cut off? What do you mean no? All of the money I spent. No. It depends on who prophesy. <laughs> huh? It depends on the prophet. But, 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 but there are some things I don't understand. Why? Why? Why would they allow the young man go that far? Spend all that money? Why? Well, if there are some of the things he bought for you, that you can still see. As you reject him, reject the things. That's the truth, though. Don't keep his things and you say you reject him. There's a polite way to do it. You don't just walk out of it like that. Pray for God that spoke. Because God is not the author of confusion. He won't tell you to walk out of a relationship and he knows the young man will kill you. Pray for God Almighty to also convince him. And the spirit of God, the heart of a king is in the palm of the Lord. Pray for God to break his heart. And God Almighty to make him see reasons. There are young people or there are people who may have spent so much on you. Once they hear God, they back out. Pray for God to touch him. You don't just walk out of the relationship. The first one she has is kissing a sin. I think I've said that before. Yes, sir. Kissing. He said no. Kissing is the foundation for sex. Once you kiss, you get aroused. And there is no way you should do prelim when you will not do degree. <laughs> don't do prelim if you won't do degree and let me shock you through kissing you can contact hepatitis yes you can contact hepatitis b incurable as hiv from kissing and that's the problem i have with movie people one time i gathered about 20 of them together and i was blasting them i said you don't have to start putting your mouth in each other's mouth you get infections from that you get infections so please be very careful 
there are some people from head to toes, they are diseased walking about. I didn't say they have disease. They themselves, they are diseased. So you have to be careful. None of you will be a victim. And the wisdom that's needed, don't even go near. Don't start it. Don't start explaining. All right? It's not running. One more and then we pray. Jesus is Lord. One more reasonable question. You're asking me irrelevant. Reasonable question. Praise God. Sir, please, my question is this. Like as a believer, you know the truth. But as of pressure, maybe you are looking at your age mates, everybody is just being hooked up, and you are compelled to indulge in a life that does not please the Holy Spirit. Right in your conscience, you were being warned, but you compelled yourself into it, and at the end, you came out with shame and disappointment. Then when you went back to your God, you saw that the life, your past, is hurting you because it has now exposed you to a lot of enemies and inside you if each time you go to village you see those faces and you bend your face in shame but you want peace but you don't know how to go about it what do i do so question is very long let, let me say this to you i think this is a lesson no till life is done not everybody has the same destiny timetable. I was praying with somebody and I was hearing 30 years, 30 years. He's 45 now. I was hearing 30 years, 30 years. And I said, man of God, I don't know, but God is telling me 30 years, 30, that you have 30 years. I don't know what it means. He laughed. He said, yes. He said, God told him he's going to die at 75. That he has 30 more years to live. So he should do everything he wants to do within 30 years. He said, God has already told him. Ah. I said, God, don't tell me. Oh. I said, don't tell me. We have different timetables. I said, don't tell me that kind of thing. I don't want to hear it. Are you following me? Even though people are getting married, how many of them are staying married? There are some young ladies who are married now and they are dying in marriage. They are begging young people, say, open your eyes well. Never say you want to get married because everybody's getting married. Your destiny.